Oh my god, it's Channel with G! It's Channel with G! Yes, yes people, my name's Callan. Some of you may know me from TikTok. But now I am on the YouTube, man. Things are leveling up. We're getting higher. Higher. I wish I was getting fucking higher. <laughs> it's like 24 degrees here, man. It's a bell time just in the car with my mate. I can't show his face at the minute because he's military. Look at me fucking lips, man. They're dusty, them. But yeah, this is my first YouTube video. I'm going to be taking you in the day of the life. Uh, what Ukraine eats and drinking and fucking, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to plan it in. Is it like a vlog? Nah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I'm just on my way to do a little promotion at the minute because I am now a Ukrainian fucking celebrity. If you didn't know, get to know, bitches. But, um, oh, oh, I'm gonna eat that in a minute. <laughs> fucking hell. But, um, yeah, nice. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> I'll see you when I'm out the car. I'm gonna give you what I know and what I've gathered so far because I'm not gonna lie, I come here like an idiot. I didn't know when it ended up in the vid. He was, he was in some kind of war and I just thought, I'll go check it out. People, I'm not a history teacher. I'm not a geography teacher. I don't know much. I just know what drink will get you pissed. That's basically it. I just started to have a good time. <laughs> Especially when your mum's around. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what I wanna know and it might be very little, but it might help some people. In the 18th and 19th century, Ukraine was a part of Russia. It was a part of the Russian empire. But then loads of stuff happened. The Soviet Union, then the civil war took place. But then in like 1990, 1991, Ukraine was actually founded with the collapse of the Soviet Union. So that's very good. Now, Ukraine played an important role bridging the gap uh, between the West and the East, which kind of makes sense because Ukraine, when I translated it, it translates to borderland, which is, you know, border East and West. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but Ukraine is the biggest country in Europe. I didn't have a fucking clue. But do you know what's next? France. I didn't even know France was that big. I just thought it was like Paris. That's it. It's crazy. But yeah, Ukraine is the biggest in Europe. And then there's France. So you've got... You've got Western Ukraine, which is a lot closer to the borders of like Poland and Romania and Belarus, which is like relatively safe where it's like all Lviv and places in Ukraine. And then you've obviously got Eastern Ukraine where like the front line is and that's just like next like Moscow and Russia and that. That's where the war is like, you go there lad, you're not really lasting that long. Now Russia, Putin invaded Ukraine on the 24th of February. 2022 with like missile attacks and everything but nobody really thought it was going to happen because they were having conflict for like 2014 i remember hearing about it when i was in like not school and that maybe college and it was just like oh just a civil matter between governments and that but yeah fucking mad bastard ended up invading to date it has been one of the largest wars since world war ii that's crazy when you think about it that when the war first started, he invaded every single part of Ukraine, everywhere. But his like main objective was Kiev, which is where I am now, in the capital. But um, yeah, Putin thinks that Ukraine and Russia are the same. He thinks that they're the same people and that. They... It's, it's very confusing, man. There's a lot of conflicts involved. There's a lot of things going on. The Civil War, the Soviet Union. Man, we could be here all day and I don't have a clue what I'm going on about. So then I'd probably get loads of hate for it. All I'm trying to do is make a little nice fucking video. So how about we get from that shit now and I just take you in a day of the life of what I do in Ukraine and believe you me, it is very exciting to me anyway. Now look, I am making Ukraine seem like a little holiday resort by the way and walking around and that, but I don't suggest anyone coming here. I'm just not fucking well. To be honest, I didn't even, like, I'm just stupid. <laughs> so how I got here, I was on TikTok and uh, I do what comments tell me basically. And uh, someone said go to Dublin for a Guinness. So I was like, go ahead, sad. And then someone said go to Poland for the um, vodka. And I was already pissed. So I was like, sad, I go here. And someone said go Ukraine. And I was like, can't go Ukraine. And someone in the comments said, you can't, just get the coach. And I was like, well, I'm going to Ukraine then. And when I got here, everyone was like, you're mad. I was like, why, why? And like, when I got here, I've, I've like, I found out. I have found out. You do see a lot. But what's it? Now, if you come in at the start of the war in like 2022 or even 2023, then maybe you'd be like, yeah, fair enough. Because this Kiev, it wasn't in the best condition. It didn't even look the best. But the city's built itself up, man. The same as everywhere in Ukraine. It all rebuilds itself back up over time. 
but you can really notice the war like everyone's really patriotic there's flags everywhere the buildings are painted blue and yellow the air alarms now that's a one thing i hope we can get one today well i don't but you should hear one because they are every day but sometimes they keep it up to three in the morning when the obviously the missiles are flying in the air alarms go off a lot of civilians go into shelter but to be honest i'm just usually pissed in <laughs> i just sleep it off if it happens it happens don't it lads but i don't know i can't with stars i can't be lucky stars now i hope you can see that in the background that is a house painted blue and yellow but there's military like that's why sometimes I keep having to put the camera down there's military walking past you can't record military you can't record personnel like that and i wouldn't anyway it's disrespectful but yeah um you can tell that at war you really can people think i'm just here on holiday and i am but at the same time I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking getting to know it and that. And I like that there's no English here, man, because sometimes they do my head and I'm not going to lie. I like to travel. Right, people, I hope you don't think I'm being rude, but I need to go get my hair cut. It's been a very long time. I'm sick of people saying I look homeless. I look like Usyk. Believe it or not, I am 24 years of age and this trim does not help me whatsoever. Apart from the fact that I'm massive. Whoa. <laughs> Probably not in Ukraine, you want to see the size of some of these people here, it's fucking crazy. But yeah, I'm going to go get me trim now, and then we're going to go get some scran, get on the drinks, on the shots. UK, compared to UK, it is cheap here. A UK wage here could live like a king. I've been living like a king for weeks. I've been here now about three weeks, and I don't plan on going yet. But the Ukraine wage is on its ass. It is, it's diabolical. Like, um, nurses, nurses are getting paid £400 a month. Like... That's fucking shocking, that. I know it's cheap to us, to here, but, like, to live on that wage here, that's shit. That is shit, including rent and that as well, man. Look at these buildings here. See? Everyone just expects it to be fucking bombed out. Ukraine's lovely, man. I love it. I, I will suggest coming after the war is over. Don't really come now, because if something happens, you're not suing me. Sue me. Ha, <laughs> mate! Even talking like that is crazy. I never thought someone would sue me like this time, like a couple of weeks ago. It's crazy. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go get my hair cut and I'll hit you back soon. Right, I just walked like two minutes down the street there. And did you see how many flags that I saw? It's just like, I told you, it's dead patriotic. You're not allowed to do this in England. Imagine if we put an English flag up outside the window. Crazy. Yeah, another thing, yeah, you've got to be careful about in Ukraine is the water. Now, everyone drinks sparkling water, which to me is mad. I don't get it. There's no flavour. Why do you want it? But each to their own, innit? But, look, man. Beautiful. I mean, you think of Ukraine, you just think of shelters and that, don't you? Because of what the news tells you. But I'm here to tell you different. Look at this little palace here. See it there? Oh, I can't zoom in. But yeah, but I'll take you that way in a bit. We're not going that way now because I'm going to get my ear cut. Another thing as well is the roads. Even if there's no cars on the road, if you don't wait till that traffic light turns red, you don't go. I think you get a fine or something. But oh man, I'm not stood there waiting like two minutes. There's no chance. But anyway, we think that the bar is now. <laughs> Hickory dickory duck. I've got a little cock. So hopefully when you next see me, I've got the freshest trim and a woman by my side. All right. So I've just come into the barber shop and my mum wants a picture. This happens all the time. I'm more famous in Ukraine than back home. <laughs> yeah, they wanted the picture, but they still didn't want to give me a haircut so soon. You have to book, even though I'm a celebrity. <laughs> what are you joking? Oh, mate, I hate that word, mate. In uh, what's the word? Influencer. <laughs> that just reminds me of them Muppets in Dubai doing push-ups on that, mate. I just get pissed. Call me a content creator, that's what I prefer. But yeah, I was gonna like get me ear cut and then go for food and all that, but now we might as well. Okay, well, this probably isn't the best part of Ukraine. It's still nice though. So um, I was gonna get me ear cut and then go for scran and then get pissed, but we're probably gonna go scran, pissed, and then hair cut and just fall asleep in the chair. Let's hope it doesn't butcher me ear, but you can't make it already any worse than it is. So I went to the hotel the other day, I was staying in a hotel and these three lads ran up to me and started hugging me. I was like, what the, get off me, what are you doing? And um, they were like, tick-tock, tick-tock. They couldn't even speak a word of English and they all got the phones up and they were all following me. It's crazy, it's crazy, man. They just, 
the dead hospitality, like I said, the dead patriotic. Someone's coming here, they're showing everyone that it's okay and that because they miss the tourism, man. They need the money back, don't they? So they like all that stuff, so they're all just following me. Hence why I'm still here. I love it, me. They treat me like a king. Lads, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, fucking shit, me pants then. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna check all See them behind me there. That was the first time I've ever been stopped by any security, any national, any military man, and he was like, I do now, and I fucking shit me pants. I'm not gonna lie, obviously, man. It's scary. I'm in a different country, and my man's got a big gun. <laughs> okay. And he was like, show me, he said, show me your passport. So show me. You know me, yes, bro. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> this is fucking crazy, man. Ah, oh, that made me feel a bit better. But yeah, he's like, show me your passport. Show me, let's take it. I said, no, you're taking me fucking passport. Next thing, I have to pay to get it back off him. <laughs> but yeah, man, this I've been here two, three weeks. I'm being a bit loud. Ukraine's a very quiet country. I've been here two, three weeks, and that's the first time anything's ever happened. And that doesn't tell you that's safe. I don't know what it is, mate. You get fucking stopped every day in UK. But yeah, man, yeah, I'm going to meet a friend now. You good, mate? I'm good, thank you, mate. Are you? Yeah, you good? I'm, 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 help? I'm okay, thank you. I'm a blogger, bro. <laughs> it's good to meet you. Good, so I'm going to meet a friend now of TikTok. His name's John. He's from London, but he's lived out here for a few years. He's a good lad. And um, yeah, I'm going to have a couple of pints with him, man. We fall might die. I hope it doesn't, but it is what it is. Love. There's the flag, lads. And then there's the flag. And there. This is a square look at it, man. And this is meant to be in ruins. Like, what the hell? Look at that. That's the memorial. The military, we're not going to go over there. Obviously, just out of respect. I'm not going over there videoing. But, um, yeah. Dead patriotic, man. You don't see this in England or anywhere. I'm telling you, it'd be took down within two days, two minutes. Eh, hate speech and all that shit. We need to be patriotic more. This is why I love it. Yeah, these two handsome fellas have just stopped me for a <laughs> picture. Right, Hello, lads. What's your names? Yaroslav. Yaroslav, Tima, where are you from? Ukraine. Kiev. Yeah, 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 man, good to meet you, lads. So here I am, guys, in this restaurant. I've just met this man on the road, started speaking to him. He knew who I was. It's crazy. And he just walked me 15 minutes to this restaurant. I said, Do you know anywhere that serves traditional food? And he went, Yeah, come with me. And walked me 15 minutes down the road, out the way, and then walked back. Mad, mad guy, but like I said, Ukrainians love it. Hospitality. I keep looking over there because I'm dead handsome. But yeah, um, I'll show you what I got now. So I got something called borscht bread, lard and salo for me starter. And I'll show you what that is. That is a traditional Ukraine dish. The toilet of the restaurant, and I've just seen earbuds. Now, lads, I don't know about you, but every time I see these fuckers, you've got to use them. <laughs> so I'm going to give me ears a nice little clean. Every time I see these, I've got to pick them up, even when I'm in people's houses and that. Even if I've just met them, they're like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, cleaning my ears, bro. Mind your business. Well, yeah, and then we'll wash our hands and go get some scram. So we thought me, Callum Bottle, would be here in Ukraine. Reviewing Ukraine dishes. So here is the scram, lad. This is borscht. This is a kind of a beetroot soup. It's a traditional Ukraine dish. It was actually like established in Ukraine, but everywhere needs this, even China, Germany, um, even even Russia. But Russia and Ukraine eat a lot of the same food. Bit of bread to go with it, uh, sour cream. And then we have here salu, which is their meat. I don't know what any of this is. I don't even think I asked for this, but I'm just gonna charge for it anyway, but I'll still eat it. Nice of them, but yeah, just meat, see? We'll have a little try the borscht first. So as you can see, it's like beetroot, pea. You've got a lot of meat in there as well. I love stuff like this, mate. Oh, man. Oh, we look at that bread as well. Fresh bread. Mm. I wish they didn't sit me so close to the door, man. But... I don't care about filming, what they gonna say? Don't film. <laughs> don't tip. Oh yeah. Oh this food's well man. Big up to that fella who brought me here, man. He's giving me his telegram. Another thing as well, Ukrainians only use Telegram, they don't use Snapchat. Telegram and WhatsApp, they don't use anything else, they don't use Facebook. I just found that a dead bit weird, but dude, like it's another country, you know what I mean? Not everyone's like England. <laughs> but yeah, don't use Snapchat, it's crazy. Telegram. I normally jump on Telegram if I want something older than me. Something that I shouldn't be getting. <laughs> Back when I'm in England. 
That boy is really nice. I just taste the bread with a bit of sour cream, baby. Look at that. Oh, with a bit of boss on there as well. Oh, I wish I used that sour cream from the start. <laughs> I've the bread now. Lovely. So nice. Mm. Lads, I've had food poisoning for the past four days. No, I didn't know, but foreigners are not meant to eat Ukrainian fish unless out of tin and that, because it's not healthy, especially sushi. It's not like right. They don't freeze it and that. It's crazy. And me, thinking I'm hard as fuck, as always, thinking, oh, I don't have to listen to what you tell me. I've done it and I've been ill for four days and that is why I've not been posting on TikTok or anything. And yeah, if you're wondering like how people know me and all that, it's off TikTok. So I, I come here, done a couple of videos, they blew up instantly because there's no tourists like me here. There's no one doing TikTok here. So they all invited me in, then I started doing collaborations and now a couple of companies, my big companies, drinks and that I've got on me, sponsoring me. I've done a few paid promotions for restaurants. It's crazy. I've never had this in England. This is why I feel like staying. But, uh, so, in six months. So within the six months, you get a 90 day visa, which means within 90 days, you can travel to anywhere in the EU. And Ukraine is part of the EU, and I did not know. And my, like, you know what I mean? I don't want to, like, take the piss, because if I go back, I'll get a big fine, and I won't be able to return to the EU for a couple of years. I won't be able to fly. It's not worth it. So, I'm just gonna go somewhere else. It's not in the EU when I get back. Well, this food's so nice. I wish I saved that so. Oh man, we've not even tried the meat. Oh, sorry guys. I was enjoying that soup too much. So I don't know what that is. That's it, like a paste. I'm not looking forward to that. It's horseradish, horseradish. Oh, I don't like that shit. I had always had this before. I'm proper paranoid about this because of that fish that I've had food poison off. I don't really want to be eating it. It's okay. I didn't ask for the big palate of it though. I just asked for the bit, but uh, whatever pays his wage, man. The meat's not for me, the meat's not for I couldn't even tell you what it is, a ham and salad or something like that, but I only wanted a little bit on the side of the plate, man. So this guy's is Veraniki, again, a Ukraine dish. On top is like salad or onions. Now in this one, I've got meat and potato, but you can have anything. I've seen people put like custard and like the uh, cherries inside and have it as dessert. I'll show you now what it looks like. See, so it's just like a little dumpling and inside it's just like mushy and like, a bit of sour cream on. Oh man, I love it, I love it. I've had it a few times. I love it. I'm not that fussed on any other Ukraine dish, I'm being honest. I've had loads from mimosa to all like the grocery ones to home. I don't, it's not for me, man. I'm sorry. I just like pizza and chips and burgers. I'm just a proper English fella, fish and chips, but. Veraniki and um, Boris, I do like, I, I like, I really do like. To be honest. That one was fucking hot. But yeah, look. Just a big dumpling. And then, it's got like potato in that inside. I really enjoy it. I had it the other day, like I said, with cherries as, as a dessert, but I didn't really like it, man. I don't think you should mix um, dumplings and dessert. Now, the meat that I didn't eat, yeah, I'm a wrapper. Um, I'm taking with me. If I see any homeless or even dogs, these are a lot of stray dogs. I'm just going to give it out because I'm a nice guy. So, someone's car's getting towed for parking. They're unlucky. <laughs> so, that scran comes to, I think it was 679. And that was like 12 quid, lads, 12 quid. I got a big meat platter. I got the soup, the bread, the other bread, two sour creams, uh, two Cokes, and Veraniki, 12 pound. 
Casey? Hey, hello. Yes, bro, hello. How are you? You okay? I'm well. Yeah. Thank you for your vlogs. No worries, brother. No worries. Doing one now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, there we go again, lads. Straight out the restaurants. <laughs> Yeah, we've got this food here. We're going to go give it to a dog or a homeless man. People, this is my apartment. If you haven't seen the TikTok, go look at it. This is the, the back room. I've got my stove, my fridge. Here we go. I've got my shower, toilet. Hello. <laughs> my wardrobe. And there is the master bed, ladies. Uh, there's the telly. Probably in Ukraine. And here... Is a window that leads straight into the next room. <laughs> oh, mad's that? But yeah, we're not going to be staying here for too long. I don't really stay in hotels, me. I just get about. So we're just going to get out now. I really do not want to drink. Like, my stomach, I've, I've been in pain for days, but we're going to give you what we want and we're going to get pissed. Okay, okay. Still got this food. I've never been wanted to see a homeless person more in my life than right now. I hope I see one. So yeah, I'm gonna take it with me. Hopefully we see one. If not, we're just gonna have to give it to a dog. Oh, we've got to give it to someone, haven't we? We've paid for it, man. And someone else would appreciate that. But I've just went to leave my door. And there is another door. I was like, oh my God. I'm in some sort of parallel universe. Help me. Nah, let's go and get pissed. Oh, fucking hell. The first time I've ever been unexcitable to get pissed. Oh, where's that bag? <laughs> not that kind of bag. Guys, we give it away. To my man in the back there. Oh, and he was dead grateful as well. See, it's little things like that, man. It made me feel dead good. <laughs> Had a little conversation as well. Didn't speak much English, of course. Nobody really does. But, one sec, let me get past this fucking road, man. But, yeah, he was dead grateful, man. Fucking hell, probably hadn't had a food all day. Bless him. People, as you can tell, I'm already bland. I've had my hair cut. Look at my moustache. Look at my tail. But, the curfew... In Ukraine, it's 12 o'clock midnight. If you get caught past this, the fine is 70,000 grievna. 1,000 grievna is 20 quid. So it's like, oh, lads, Lord, oh, what's that? 140 quid. Look at everyone hugging here. Do you reckon I join in? Wait there. Hey, come on. Give me a hug. Someone give me a hug. Hey, give me a hug. Yes. Yes. What's that? What's happening? Give me a fucking hug, lad. Yes. Can I have a hug? Yeah. I want to hug. Yeah. Yes, people. Yeah, man. Hey. Give me a hug. Yeah, man. Love you, side tonight. Fucking hell. It's so nice, man. But yeah, this is it. The Ukrainian fucking him. Gave you. It's midnight, so I'll best get home. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the fucking life in Ukraine, man. Yeah, I've got me hair cut out. Oh my God, there's loads of people here. Let's see if we can get hugs off every one of these. Hey, motherfuckers. Yeah. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it's General G! It's General G! It's General G! Oh my god, it's General G! Yes! Fucking fool! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Hello, motherfucker! Hello, motherfucker! I know you! I know you! Give me a hug, motherfucker! I know you now, I love you! I love you! Yeah, now this is the night. Yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The big fan is now we straight away. Why are you crying? I see you in the, in the Twitter. Fuck it up, man. I love you. <laughs> go, go sleep. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that is it, people. So, look out for another Ukrainian blog. I love you. Got the mustache. Peace. You can hear the sirens. There it is. That's the time to say, get the fuck indoors. <sighs> okay, so, you've seen what the food's like. You've seen what the people's like. You've seen what the town's like. And now... I need to start running. But yeah, fucking hell, Ukraine, love it. 
As long as you're not out past curfew, what a place. Scary, man. <laughs>